Hello everyone. So welcome back to another Wednesday talks on mainframe. So this time it is on uh, MQ, IBM MQ. So I will be giving you an overview of uh, how IBM MQ is used on the mainframe system by enter by giving an introduction, and uh, we will see some of the examples of how MQ you used in a different domains. And also I'll try to give some example using the COBOL program or how a message queues are passed uh, from mainstream system to a distributed system, uh, to a different di di distributed systems and uh, so several things that uh, I'll be sharing across in this video. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, so please do subscribe and share. Okay. So let's get started. So introduction to MQ. Uh, what is the IBM MQ in general? So IBM MQ is nothing but it's it's like a sending a message from one system to another system. The source system can be mainframe or it can be any other system. And the destination system can be a mainframe or it can be any other distribution uh, systems. Okay, so it's a, it's it's simply a sending a message from one system to another system. Okay, let's let's look at the definition. IBM MQ is a messaging middleware that enables application to exchange messages in a reliable and secure way. It provides a flexible and scalable messaging infrastructure that can be used to integrate application across different platforms and technologies. MQs is a software product that enables different applications running on different platforms to communicate with each other by exchanging messages. Let me give you a simple example. Suppose you are trying to place some order on an Amazon. Okay, so maybe you you might be purchasing some iPhone. Okay, and when you place an order, some information is stored. So it can be your name, it can be a phone number, uh, some kind of an, a transaction payment transaction information, or it can be an order. Okay, let's take order. Right, order. What is the order you have placed? iPhone. Right. So how this iPhone will be shipped to your home address? Right. So whatever the message. So uh, on the source computer, let's say X X Y Z computer. So this information is stored. Uh, so 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 and so X Y Z person has placed this, and uh, uh, what is the order placed? iPhone. And that information has to be sent to the warehouse system or I can say warehouse computer where they check this information and based on that they package the item and they ship it to your home right so this message is being sent to another system by using MQ and MQ uh, make sure that message is is sent securely without any errors and it also has a capability uh, to handle so many transactions which are in the queue why because it should be it is as i said like it is more reliable so whatever the uh, sometimes like uh, they would there would be a lot of transactions that it will be hitting on the purchase or maybe some seasons right if there are any special offers so so ibm mq can handle these uh, queues uh, very uh, secure and reliable way and I can say it's a safe way. Okay, let me take another example of the banking system Suppose you wanted to transfer a money From one account to another account suppose you have an HSBC account and you want to transfer from HSC bank to the uh, ICIC bank or uh, it can be an a uh, uh, city bank. Okay, so you can use an IBM MQ uh, To make sure the transaction information gets sent securely and reliably uh, between different uh, mainframe computers involved in the transactions okay so that's a very simple way uh, to tell oh how what is ibm mq okay so how mqs are used in mainframe in a mainframe environment mq provides a way to integrate applications running on the mainframe uh, with applications running on different platforms so it can be like a distributed systems mobile or it can be in you know, a cloud okay so mq can be used in many ways for example if you want to use it to integrate a legacy application system running on the mainframe with a modern application running on different uh, other platforms so it it can it can be used to 
okay and it can also be used to manage transactions across multiple systems or to provide reliable messaging between two different applications or it can be on many different applications so that's how uh, the MQ can be used on a mainframe system so how to use MQ on mainframe okay to use MQ on the mainframe you need to install and configure the MQ software that is IBM MQ software define the queues and write the programs to receive the message or to send the message or we call it as put and get message from the queues so the MQ API uh, provides that enables the program running on the mainframe to communicate with MQ and exchange message with other application. So that message can be sent or received in a different formats that is like uh, text, binary or an XML format. Okay. So let's take a simple example. So assume that you have a COBOL program running on the mainframe system and you want to send a message from the mainframe system to a, a Java uh, or Windows system so which is using a java program or it can be a c sharp program so what are the steps involved now so first thing is you need to create a queue manager on the mainframe system and how this is achieved it is uh, using an ibm mq administrative tool so there uh, there you can define one queue uh, for the uh, message transfer from mainframe to uh, java system or a windows server right yeah so then for after creating a queue so you need to define a queue on the mainframe system and again you'll be using a ibm administrative mq administrative tool that will be defined there temporary queue so where all the requests will be uh, stored in that queue okay then you'll be writing a cobol program to send a message and then you create a channel on windows server and you'll be defining a queue similar to the mainframe on the receiver side that is on the windows server side and then you'll be having a java program that receives the messages and they, it uses mq api to receive these messages and in the cobol also cobol uses the mq api there as well okay so let's look at the simple uh, cobol uh, program so how it is written so so here we'll be specifying all the details related to uh, the mq so it can be in a queue manager so as i said like first we need to define the queue and the queue name and the host name where that queue where that mq is located and the port number and uh, the different channel what is the channel name that is being used and uh, what is the message that you want to pass so here it is a simple hello world so but in the real time so it can be any it's it can be in a bank money transfer or it can be in a transaction or anything it can be the message can be anything so that that would be the message but these are the key information that we need to know and uh, this involves various steps so it starts from uh, mq connection uh, then uh, mq open mq put mq close so these these are the different uh, various steps that are involved so that would be the process i can say first it has to connect then it has to open then it has to put some message uh, to transfer and then after that the connection would be closed so this is a simple co cobol program that is using an mq okay now let's uh, let's look at the real time examples of uh, in different domains how this in i i uh, i mean mqs are used okay if i talk about the banking so mqs are used to transfer a real time data between core banking systems it can be in a deposit it can be a lending or any kind of a systems okay so especially the co banking uh, so transfer it is used to transfer real time tra uh, tra real time data between core banking system and other banking applications such as atms mobile banking and internet banking okay so let's look at the healthcare mq is used to transfer sensitive health data between different healthcare applications such as electronic health record systems clinical decision support systems and lab uh, laboratory information management system okay. what about retail it is used to integrate point of sale system with back-end inventory management system enabling real-time updates on product availability and pricing and telecommunications uh, MQ is used to integrate call center systems with customer relationship management system, enabling real-time access to customer data for customer service representatives. And let's look at the government. Uh, in government, also uh, it is used uh, for uh, tax collection systems, or it can be in a welfare systems uh, or voter registration system, enabling real-time data exchange and collaboration between different agencies. So, and you can see like. Uh, 
by looking at these examples right so you can imagine or you can understand like how uh, a major key role that ibm mq plays in the day to day technology world right yeah so let me summarize all the different uh, examples that we have seen uh, so in banking and financial application this is used for mqs or used for money transfers and uh, online banking and security trading uh, in supply chain management systems for real time communication of logistics and inventory data healthcare systems for patients data exchange and communication between different healthcare organization in retail systems for communication between stores warehouse and distribution centers government and public sector systems for secure communication of sensitive data telecommunication system for real time communication of call and data traffic transportation systems for communication between planes trains and uh, automobiles and industrial systems for control and communication in manufacturing process and powerful industries right so this was a quick summary on how mq is used in a different domains or different techno different different application systems okay yeah so this was a brief overview of ibm mq and how it is especially used in the mainframe system i hope this has given a, a little information about of high ibm mq so if you if you were not aware of uh, anything about the ibm mq so I, i feel like this might have given you a uh, good information and then this can, this can be in a starting point for you and then if you are really working on uh, ibm mq so then you can go ahead and get started on working on it okay so yeah so it's not that when you when you're working on a mainframe systems it's it's not just like learning a cobol gcl db2 ci it's just we need to learn all the integration systems as well we need to learn uh, different things that are involved in the mainframes right so ibm mq plays a very key role on the mainframe systems okay so just thought like let me share on this as well so that's the reason i've created this video okay okay that's it guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will be receiving updates every week that i will be uploading the video on different topics on the mainframe okay thank you so much